Squint and you can just about make out the distinctive skyline of Canary Wharf, London's financial centre and the international home of a whole range of banks. It's actually quite a long way away. But then who needs to physically go either there or to your local bank on the high street? Because these days banking has come to us, which is pretty handy. We can pay our bills, transfer cash, even apply for a loan, all from the comfort of, well, a sunny city park. Thanks to digitisation, it's painless online apps, not endless inline queues. But modernisation, AI, data analytics and all, never stops. So what's next for banking apps? Well, Paul C is the deputy CIO of BDO Union Bank in the Philippines. He's clear where his focus lies, as he told my colleague, Winter Wright. We are embarking on a very strategic and, and very ambitious part of our transformation. Right now, we are looking at a very aggressive five-year plan. That's one. Second is we are in the process of really pushing our new mobile banking app, uh, our BDO Online and BDO Pay, which is our wallet. And in addition to that, we are looking at extending that to our network bank, which is the one that focuses on the underserved and the underbank. So a lot of the applications are really focusing on both the physical and the digital and making sure that we are able to serve all of our clients through every channel that they want to. Let's talk a little bit about uh, resilience, the whole notion that you have to be prepared for external shocks like natural disasters or pandemics or, um, or hacks. Mm -hmm. um, and you also have to be prepared for the stresses that go along with, uh, with growth, which is a good problem to have. Um, how does BDO uh, ensure that it remains resilient in the face of these uh, external stresses? I think one of the key things that we have to realize is you cannot build systems and expect them to be up and really foolproof. What you can train people for is the ability to recover and to be resilient very quickly. If something happens, what do you do? How do you recover very quickly? And how do you make sure that you are able to bring the services back very quickly to your clients? You, you can build your infrastructure uh, up to a certain level as resilient, but there will always be problems along the way. So you have to be able to, number one, pinpoint the issues very quickly. Number two, be able to ratify and rectify those uh, issues. And number three, be able to bring the services back up very quickly. In addition to that, the applications that you're building need to also be resilient. I think with all of the investment, especially with Huawei's help, you are able to build a resilient infrastructure. Next phase really is how do you make your applications resilient? How would you specifically do that? How would you make the ap applications themselves a little bit uh, more resilient? There's, there are several ways that we can do that. One is by having the application providers work closely with the infrastructure providers and making sure that when an application is having an issue, it's able to send signals that, that there are issues. Second is probably testing, more testing, more rigorous testing to make sure that as few bugs as are there that doesn't go into, into your final product. And, and lastly, I think really it's just hopefully with AI coming into play, having AI double, triple check your code to see if that will help with regards to making your application more resilient. You, you practically read my mind. I was going to mention AI. Um, what, is, what is BDO's strategy for, um, for the coming slightly unknown new world? We are investing heavily in AI, uh, Gen AI. You know, one of the key things that we invested in uh, previously was Huawei's Dorado storage. Uh, I think the Dorado storage gave us a lot of resilience, but then with AI and with some of the other sort of AI capabilities that we're putting into play, it will help make our data centers more resilient. AI 
plays a, a huge part in terms of what we're doing. We are investing heavily with regards to looking at our knowledge AI. For example, when a BDO employee is looking for a certain policy or certain answers so that they could easily just conversationally ask an AI, for example, how do I renew a time deposit? Uh, what's the policy on a two-month time deposit? What's the expected rate of return for a two-month time deposit? So we're building that knowledge AI engine, and we're hoping that this will make all of our employees more productive and be able to really delight and provide better customer service.